and welcome back to this series on uh, Spacey for the purposes of DH. If you haven't been following along, following along, Spacey is an NLP module that allows us to analyze texts. And we're working with this here Alice in Wonderland text, the entire book. And in the last video, we separated it out so we could analyze it chapter by chapter. And we loaded in this Spacey model, so that, which was a trained model on a neural network so that we can analyze our texts. So what we're going to do in this video is start working with some of the basics. All we're going to do in this video is create a spacey object known as a doc and spacey to, uh, and, uh, documentation. And we're going to uh, use that doc object and start running some uh, simple but very powerful spacey functions. We're going to separate everything out into just sentences. This is very important to know how to do. You need to know how to separate text out by sentences because human speech follows the pattern of sentences. And you also have to know how to break down a text by uh, what's no, what are known as tokens, uh, which is, I'm gonna get into that in the next video, tokenization. So for right now, let's go ahead and start trying to figure out how to create a spacey object. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create an object called doc. And we're gonna make that equal to NLP. So we're gonna call in our model, NLP, there we go. And what we want it to actually analyze that model is we want it to analyze one specific argument. We want it to analyze the text. So here I have chapter one selected. And if you remember from the last video, what we're going to do is extract all of this information from chapter one, and we can load it into a single object because we've separated it all by chapter. And then we're just gonna analyze everything chapter by chapter. So that's what we have. And if we run this, nothing is gonna happen. All that's happening is on the back end, it's loading this model and we're creating that object. If we wanted to actually print off that object, we could just print off doc, but it's not gonna really show us anything because it hasn't actually done anything to that doc. Uh, and so you're just kind of doing nothing different than just printing off the normal object of chapter one. So if we want to start doing some uh, interrogation of this uh, data, we can create a new object. We're going to create sentences, and this is going to be equal to doc.sense. And what this is going to do is it's going to separate all of that doc out by sentences. So if I were to print off, let's say, sentence one, what's going to happen is it's going to be something weird. It's going to be something like down the rabbit hole. Let's go ahead and experiment with that. It might even be just I period if that's all it's grabbing. Generator object is not scriptable. Ah, here, this is why. I have to make that into a list. That was my fault. <clears throat> there we go. Now we have an object that can be scripted. There we go. We have I period <clears throat> down the rabbit hole. So let's grab this as the first sentence. Obviously, that's not a first sentence. It's a title. If you want to, you can clean up your data and get rid of that. Or what you can recognize is that every first instance is going to be the title and separate that out as its own object. Let's go ahead and just jump with our actual first sentence, which is going to be Alice was beginning to get, etc. And if we look down here, it's grabbed the entire first sentence. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Uh, why couldn't I just split the whole document up by using the split function and separating everything out by periods or any kind of punctuation, like in this case, a question mark? Well, the answer is that the split function doesn't catch everything. It can account for inconsistencies in the text. So if a punctuation was missing for whatever reason, it also can't account for uh, punctuation that exists in the middle of the text, in the middle of a sentence. For example, a period after a person's middle initial. It would separate that out as a separate sentence, even though that is a noun functioning in the middle of a sentence. So that's why you wouldn't want to use the split function to do this. Uh, so if, if those of you who aren't familiar, what you can do is you can use the split function and make the thing that you want to split at uh, the perfect, uh, the, uh, the punctuation mark. So another problem is how do you count for various punctuation marks? Exclamation, question mark, period. You might be thinking to yourself, I can just use regex to do that. I can write a long regex formula and account for all those. And you could, but regex doesn't catch everything. The reason why you want to use an NLP, like Spacey here, is because NLPs will are trained models that can account for these inconsistencies in text and can account for various punctuations, and they can account for the periods being used in the middle of a text, the periods that should be there, like the periods after an initial. So I'm going to show you one more thing, and this is going to demonstrate something that you should really consider when you're cleaning up your data. If we look at this text, we are going to see that it is every line of text, not every sentence, is a new line of text. And this is going to present our model, our simple small model, a problem. If we print off sentences too, watch what happens. 
the output down here, it ends right here at four. And it took me a second to figure out why this was happening. Once I did, it was very obvious. I can fix the problem if I want to by just loading in the much more expensive, nearly one gigabyte large model. And if I print off sentences two, I believe it's actually gonna be wrong because it's actually gonna recognize that that's a title. So let me run it and you'll see that right now, this is the large model running, much more expensive, much longer to do the exact same task because it's much more complicated. And the second sentence here is this one, and this is because this model has actually grabbed this information, separated I, etc. So we need to print off sentence number three. If we print off sen sentence number three, you're gonna see that the large model has grabbed all of this. But why is the small model, here it goes, you see it right here, but why is the small model having such a problem grabbing this? Well, the answer might not be that obvious. I'm gonna go back to the small model and show you what we can do to account for this. What is occurring here in the text that we can't see is a series of line breaks that look like this in the actual text file, backslash n, backslash n. It's a double line break that occurs after each of these, uh, uh, after each of these occurrences, and a, a double line break after each, or a line break at each of these occurrences, and a double line break at each paragraph. So what we can do to kind of fix this is we can read every single thing like this in. And we can account for that by simply splitting the document, or sorry, not splitting, replacing all of these double line breaks with a space. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow for our document to read in all of these line breaks and get rid of them. It's gonna replace them with simple spaces so that this doesn't look like this when it's read in, it looks like that, like a normal sentence. So let me save this. And what I'm gonna do now, having just written this in, you'll see that the small model can now actually account for it. Here you go, it's already done. Now the small metal model has actually grabbed this entire sentence. Why? Well, the answer is because it's reading it like a sentence. And we can go ahead and what this is doing is it's getting rid of the double line break on the paragraph. We can also get rid of the single line break on those instances there. And that should help it even more. There we go. Now we have one long normal sentence read in like that, and it's not gonna be uh, dropped down like you'd expect to see with uh, line breaks. So that's how you can read in uh, the, uh, the data, the text file, modify it a little bit, clean it up a little bit with the replace function and line breaks if you have it. And that's why I picked this Alice in Wonderland text because a lot of time your texts are gonna have these line breaks and it's gonna cause NLPs to go crazy. This is how you fix it. We read it in, we pass it through a model, we then create an object of that passing through the model. And then we can start doing some cool things like breaking down the different sentences. Once you have a text broken down by sentence, now you can start really doing some complex things. You can start analyzing different words, noun chunks in a sentence. You can analyze relationships in a sentence between nouns and verbs. This is what we're gonna be doing over the next few videos. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe down below and visit us at pythonhumanities.com.